the drive shot is a basic flat shot directly hit over the net. It is considered an attacking shot as the opponent is forced to hit an upward return giving the other player a chance to attack. Shift the body weight on the leg you have lunged with. Rotate the upper arm backward for backswing. Your wrist is locked and facing up during backswing. Unlock it right before hitting the shuttle to generate power. Lunge forward with your dominant leg. Take the racket back, rotate the shoulder forward and bring elbow upward and forward. The power is generated by rotating of the forearm. You should hit the shuttle in front of your body. This shot brings your opponent forward and create a space backward behind for neck shot. Start with side step towards the net and lunge forward keeping your upper body and arm stretched out in a straight line. During reaching for the shuttle, keep slight bend in the elbow and straighten your non-dominant arm for balance. Your back leg should be on toes for balance. Bend the wrist so that racket head is facing upward. The grip on the racket should be loose. Push the shuttle gently over the net. Start with side step towards the net on the backhand side. Lunge on the racket foot and extend non-racket arm behind for balance. You should be on toes of your rear foot to help you balance. Bend the wrist so that racket head is angled downward below your arm facing upward. Raise the racket arm and gently push the shuttle over the net. The grip on the racket should be loose. After hitting the shot get back to the ready position. It's a defensive shot hit from your baseline to your opponent's baseline. Raise your racket arm and non-racket arm. Your body should face sideways with your feet pointing slightly sideways. Bend your racket foot lower than your non-racket foot. As you swing your racket forward, use your racket foot to push your body weight forward. Hit the shuttle at the highest point possible. Straighten your knees as you hit the shuttle at the highest point. Complete a full arm swing. Shuffle your racket foot forward as you swing your racket forward. After hitting your stroke, your body should face forward. Underarm clears are defensive shot. Make sure you position your racket in front of you. Hit the shuttle when it's in front of you. The grip on your racket should be loose. As you hit the shuttle, bend your knees. Get the elbow out and away from the body. Rotate your body sideways and do lunges on legs. Hit the shuttle a bit behind your body. Extend the arms and tighten up the grip at impact. Use your elbow and forearm movement to generate power. As you hit the shot, rotate your upper body. Apply sideways stand position and raise both arms in the air. Your left arm about racket head level to balance your position. Your shoulder should face sideways and your elbows pointing backward. Put your weight on racket foot. Rotate your shoulder forward. Bend your wrist backward while hitting the shuttle. Hit the shuttle gently. Rotate the shuttle at the highest point possible with racket face slightly facing downward. A jump smash is a smash performed in mid-air. Your body should face sideways and your feet should also point towards the side of the coat. Stretch out your racket arm as far back as possible. At the same time, raise your non-racket arm to counter the weight of your racket arm. Jump your racket foot to push your body up into the air. You should start the swing of your racket at the peak of your jump. After you hit the shuttle, follow through with your swing. A badminton net kill means hitting the shuttle at the net area downwards to your opponent's coat. Lunge with racket foot forward. Extend your shoulder and arms towards the net and have bent elbow and wrist during playing the shot. Rotate the forearm forward on forward swing. Tap the shuttle downwards during swing of racket. Your racket motion is short and do not swing it large. Extend your arm. Use your thumb to generate power. Approach the shuttle from above. Left foot is behind and right foot is front. Stretch your arm at impact. Make the movement of arm as small as possible. This will make the stroke much easier to control. Your arm should be in front of you and in relaxed position. Your elbow always away from your body. Block the shuttle by a control push with a loose arm. For backhand defense, the elbow has to move up just before you hit it. Your arm should rotate outwards. Lunge with your non-dominant leg on your backhand side. Stand with your racket foot forward. Grip your racket not too tightly. Using your thumb and forefinger, hold the shuttle feather and tilt the shuttle head towards you.